Hey you guys, um, please forgive any background noise. It is Monday, August 28th, and at, I want to say, 2.22 p.m., I passed the baby on my own. I started bleeding on Sunday night, last night, at around 7 p.m. Tomorrow, Tuesday, was my scheduled DNC, and I think I will still be going going in just to have them confirm everything and see if they need to do anything else. I had to go give blood today. I still feel kind of crampy. I was kind of annoyed and angry last night when I started bleeding because I was like, I had finally accepted like, okay, I'm gonna have this DNC procedure. It is what it is. Like, I won't have to deal with the extra stress of like, okay, well, do we do a burial or anything like that? And then I start bleeding and I'm like, well, great. Like I finally accepted what I didn't want to happen. And then now it's like, okay, now it's my turn to start cramping and feeling very uncomfortable. And then I wasn't really bleeding that much. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I won't even pass the baby until tomorrow. But when I was using the restroom just recently, it felt like a jellyfish coming out of me, which is similar to a clot that I had um, come out after giving birth to Aubrey. I guess that's just the way my uterus cleans house because I know that some other people have described their bleeding postpartum or maybe even for miscarriages as not as clotty. But I passed a very large clot and it was, it sunk to the bottom of the toilet. And I know someone in my family who's had a miscarriage, probably bled earlier on than, than me. I should have been 12 weeks now. And she shared with me how she felt odd flushing the toilet because that was her baby going down. So I didn't want that to be the case for me. So I got like a recycled yogurt canister and reached my hand and scooped out whatever I could feel and put it in there. And I don't mind. I like watching like doctor shows and I think in another time I would be a dermatologist. <laughs> I'm, I'm just exposing one of my um, odd habits of like, I watch like pimple popping videos and stuff like that. Like I, I can handle that stuff. So I reached in and I grabbed whatever clots I could. And upon examining um, what I got, there was a very large clot and then there was a smaller clot attached to a more clear looking object. So I think that smaller thing was my placenta, which probably was about two centimeters long. And the clear sac, I'm assuming was the amniotic sac. And I could see my little baby inside. It's been dead for a month, so it's obviously you know, decaying a little bit. Like it's not super detailed, at least seeing through all these layers. I did record a small little bit of looking at it because I know that it's not talked about enough. And other women might be curious to see what to expect. And since I'm a mathematician and a cousin of science, <laughs> I figured I would, I should be the one to record it to help other people kind of know what to expect, what to expect to see. So I will include that at the very end of this video in case you're wondering. 
I believe I will still be going into the doctor tomorrow, even though I'm very confident that I don't have a remain of a baby in me and I still may be bleeding, just for them to check on me and see how I'm doing. And I'm just gonna try to take it easy because I still feel crampy. It's, it's not overbearing where I can't move, but it's, enough not like normal and that makes me just want to lay on the couch and relax but for those of you who prayed that i could pass the baby by myself i appreciate it i'm glad i'm able to see my child and we can bury the little lima bean and i know i'm very emotional now but at the same time i'm very peaceful so thank you again for your prayers and before i show the clip for anyone interested in the ickiness of it all, I guess. The science of it all, let's put it that way. Um, I want to encourage anyone going through this to at least tell people that are close to you so that you have people that suffer with you. You know, this is a death in the family. It's not just a death to my husband and I. And I have found much comfort in hearing from other women and other people in my family and knowing how common it is. And I can only imagine how much more difficult it would have been if I felt like I had to carry it all on my own. Obviously share when you're ready. I know that some people share when they're pregnant with their rainbow baby and they're almost a term or things like that, but at least tell someone so you can confide in them and have prayers said for you. And I'll just wrap up with the saying that I remember seeing someone wrote online that every day I got to carry my child was a blessing. I'm glad that in some ways I got an extra month, even though the child had passed away. But thank you for watching, but more for your support and prayers. And you can stop the video now if you don't wanna see what I, fished out of my toilet and I will catch you guys in a much happier I'm sure more homemaking type video soon okay so I just passed this very large clot but where you see it's kind of clear the baby is in there You can see it floating around in the little sack. It's about the size of like a centimeter. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.